Doppler Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. And a live picture in Asheville, as you can see, just beautiful. It's just a mid to high level clouds moving across the skies. But a beautiful Monday evening outside right now. It's a live picture in Asheville. Pollen count currently, trees and grasses remain absent. Weeds are in the low category, and mold remains in the moderate category. So there's that mid to high level clouds, mainly made up of ice crystals around 15, 20, 25,000 feet, way up there. So not expect any precipitation. A zonal flow, so everything's moving very quickly from west to east across the area. Most of the cloud cover is moving out of Kentucky, Tennessee into North Carolina. There will maybe be a few high thin cirrus clouds even in the upstate or northeastern Georgia. Uh, but even then, I think the clouds in North Carolina will start to uh, thin out a little bit as we go through the overnight hours. Temperature-wise, unbelievable. 70s and 80s in the upstate. Uh, upper 70s right now in Greenville, also in Anderson. 77 in Clemson. It's currently 74 degrees in Spartanburg. 80, though, in Lawrence. 83 degrees in Abbeville. Also in Elberton. 80 in Athens. 79 in Tacoa. Uh, low 70s in Asheville, also in Hendersonville, and it's the cool spot, 67 degrees currently in a boom. Uh, very little wind to speak of, mainly out of the south and southeast at about 5 miles per hour. Humidity level is also fairly low. So, and we talk about this a lot in the fall, especially just uh, over the last several nights with low humidity levels, we cool down dramatically at night. And in fact, uh, temperatures the last several nights have been very close to where they should be for this time of the year. Uh, very chilly at night, seasonably chilly. But during the day, once that sun comes up, we warm up very quickly with dry air in place, and we've been actually about 10 to 15 degrees above the average for this time of the year. It's a cold front right about through here. Look at this. What's well, showing up for the first time? Snow in the northern Rockies into also the Canadian Rockies into western Canada. Some showers ahead of the front and along the front and back in through the Great Lakes. This front and this piece of cold air here is going to move across our area just in time for the latter part of this week and into the upcoming weekend. It's going to be the coldest air we've seen so far this season. It's only 46 right now in Denver. Behind the front, but ahead of it, how about the warm air? 83 in Oklahoma City. Right now, it's 84 degrees in Dallas. This system is on the way for us. Forecast for tonight clear skies, light winds, and seas will be cool. Overnight low, 54 degrees. 47 for the overnight low in the mountains with mainly clear skies. Those high thin cirrus clouds will gradually dissipate overnight tonight. Some dense valley fog could form in late tonight. Visibility could be down to less than a quarter of a mile, so be uh, aware of that, and that'll continue through early tomorrow morning. Then the fog burns off. Plenty of sunshine, very mild, unseasonably very mild. High 77 degrees. No record highs I'm forecasting tomorrow, but we're going to get close. The record high at the Asheville Hendersonville area, 81 degrees, set back in 1940. A warm breeze in the upstate developing in the afternoon out of the southwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. I'm forecasting a high of 82 degrees. The record 85 degrees set back in 1991. So, going to get close to it. Four day plus looks like this for the Greenville Spartanburg Anderson area. Uh, chance of scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm on Wednesday as that front comes in very quickly. Then we turn cooler on Thursday. Little trick or treaters Friday night, bundle them up. It's going to be chilly and then cold and dry for the upcoming weekend. Four day plus for the Asheville Hendersonville area. Uh, mostly sunny skies tomorrow, high 77 degrees. Then it gets cooler with showers likely on Wednesday with the front. Cool weather all the way through cold weather, really, for the upcoming weekend. Coldest air so far this season.